This video is Selection in Bikini Bottom. Breaking news! Mad Cell Disease is back and it is killing the cells in Bikini Bottom. They have decided that it is due to one gene and it is an autosomal gene. So, there are three genotypes that the cells in Bikini Bottom can possess. They can have autosomal dominant, which does not possess disease. They can have heterozygous, which does not possess disease and is immune. Or they can have recessive homozygous, which has a cell disease and will die within a year. We have 500 cells in our original population, and this is how they're split up by genotype. So, how many of there of each allele? So, there's obviously double the alleles that there is population. So, that is how you calculate the big M's and the little m's. And then to do the frequency of each allele, you take the number of alleles you have divided by 1,000, which is how many alleles there are in the population. And now we got to check to see if the original population is in the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So we're going to use the equation P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1. And then we find the genotype frequencies by using P squared for the homozygous dominant, 2PQ for heterozygous, and Q squared for recessive homozygous. So the frequencies we found on the other slide using the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium equation will help us get the population of each genotype that we expect in the population. And then this is the observed that we already saw in the, in the population of five. So you can see that they're the same, which means that we get a chi-square value of zero, which means, yes, our original population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. Well, wait, didn't I say that the heterozygous was immune to the disease? So could there be selection here? That cell disease are going to come in and try to bite both types of genotypes. But what you'll notice is only the homozygous dominant genotype actually gets the disease. And then a year is going to pass. And we're going to notice that there are excess running towards all of them, showing that all of the cells of bad cell disease die. So, as you can see, the heterozygous trait is actually going to be favored in this population. So, since heterozygous is favored in this population, we're going to get stabilizing selection. So, in stabilizing selection, the heterozygous genotype is dominated, like dominates the population. So, our relative fitness values are going to be 1, 1.3, and 0 0.2. And those are the different genotypes that have each of them. Now, in order to find the frequency after selection, we're going to have to take our fitness times our initial frequency for each value. And that gives you the unadjusted survivors. And then since these do not add up to 1, we have to add all these values together and divide each individual 1 by the sum of these three values. And that will give us our frequency after selection. So here are the frequencies of the genotype after selection. Uh, the heterozygous went up like it should in stabilizing selection. The population of heterozygous went up. Same thing should occur. And the frequency of the big M allele also went up. So in the future, it'll probably occur that at one point, all of the cells will be heterozygous because that is the dominating genotype. And then finally, references. Thank you for watching. Hope that helps.